To dominate other Town Hall 15s, you need to have a good upgrade guide, which is what I'm going to be giving you in this video. Now a lot of these tips will be applicable to other Town Hall levels, so it is going to be worthwhile for you to watch through the entire video. Also the progress base in the background will show you exactly what to upgrade at what time, so I'm going to be breaking down more of the whys of this entire process. The first thing that you want to put down is the monolith and the new spell towers. Even though they're only single upgrades, they're going to give you an insane defensive boost, which is going to make anybody who's attacking you realize that you're no longer a Town Hall 14. However, I would say just keep them at level 1 for now until you get to the defenses part of the upgrade guide, which is where you can put levels into them. If you do have magic items, however, feel free to spend it on the monolith. Now, heroes are always a top priority, and the number one way for you to be upgrading your heroes is to have two down at a single time. However, that can be a little difficult if you're doing heroes and pets at the same time, so I would say worst case, have at least one hero down while you're grinding your pets. Now let's move on to offensive upgrades, because if you guys want to be able to dominate, you need to make sure that you have enough power to get yourself better war attacks and better farming. Now the first thing is you want to get your pet house to the max level. If you do this, you'll be able to get access to all of the new pets, and the new pets are really, really good, even at their base levels. You also want to make sure you do your CC, your army camp, and your laboratory. However, only the CC is good magic item value here, so I would urge you to not spend magic items on the other ones, and to just have to sit through those upgrades. Now we come to the part where a lot of players are going to hate me for saying this, but the next thing you want to do is you want to do your storages. Now how is this going to help you dominate? Well, the first thing is that obviously you're going to get better rune value, but the other thing that a lot of players don't expect is that you're going to have to farm less to put down really expensive upgrades. Because of this, you can go ahead and focus on your dark elixir farming for those early pet levels as well as your hero levels and that's going to help you to progress through those early levels a lot quicker because you're going to need a lot more dark elixir in the beginning. Now I want to talk about pet house priority but before we do that a quick shout out to the members on the channel. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it and if you're watching this video and you want me to go ahead and take a look at your base and give you a personalized upgrade guide every single month all you have to do is go ahead and hit the join button down below. Once again, thank you everyone for supporting me on the channel. I really appreciate it. Now, when it comes to pets, there's four pets that are clearly stronger than the rest of them. That's the Unicorn, Frosty, Diggy, and the Phoenix. Now, these four pets are going to be most likely the pets that you're going to be using, and you probably already have the Unicorn at a high level. Go ahead and prioritize Frosty, Diggy, and of course the Phoenix, and try to put one level on them each and go up that way. This way you can get the most use out of your hero potions during the war and clan war league. And then once you hit level 5, you can go ahead and focus one of those pets at a time because you want to go ahead and get those abilities to the next level, which is exactly what we want if we want to dominate at Town Hall 15. Now as we move on into defenses, you want to go ahead and max your monolith as well as your spell towers first. The first reason is because the monolith is a monster defense, it's basically a inferno tower that doesn't have to charge up so it is a really good defense and you want to get it to the next level. The spell towers are also really good in creating variety in your defense and we don't really know what kind of metas are going to come out yet because base builders of course will take a little bit of time to come out with that stuff so you want to make sure you're ready and you're able to use these new bases as they come out. Next you need to focus on the three core defenses that will actually make a huge difference. Your town hall, your inferno towers, and your expos. Now the town hall itself you probably won't get good magic item value out of. However, the Inferno Towers and the Expos, you will get great magic item value out of. So if you did want to wait until you get magic items for those, that would actually be a really good move for shaving your time to max. If you're already max Town Hall 14, these are the next upgrades that you're going to be doing. Now you'll notice that on my progress base, I have a bunch of defenses that don't have new levels at Town Hall 15. The reason I'm doing this is because if these buildings get brand new levels, they're already put into the order of priority. So if the Eagle gets a brand new le level or the scatter shots you are going to be doing those before you do your infernos or your expos regardless of that after you finish the defenses that we have already you're going to do your air defenses your wizard towers your bomb towers in that order and then you're going to do your archer towers and your cannons air defenses first because we want to fight e-drag spam wizard towers because they're really good against a lot of group attacks and ground and air bomb towers really good anti-blizzard archer towers because they affect both ground and air and then cannons because they're ground i would then do the traps and and then after all of that, the mortars, if you really feel like it, honestly, it's completely up to you if you upgrade them or not. Here's the thing, it's not going to make
make a difference anyway so really it's a uh, it's personal preference if you want to waste time on those mortars now when it comes to the laboratory there are a few things that i might prioritize upgrading at town hall 15. i think that electro titans are pretty strong and i'm still learning how to use them so i went ahead and put a level on those also your barbarian and your archers because you do want to increase your king and your queen strength other than that it's really up to personal preference however i will say that if you are an air attacker it is an absolute must that you hit the zap spell or if you use zap quake and the reason for that is because if you don't then these new defensive levels are going to mess up how many zaps you need to do different things but once again it really depends on what type of attacker you are so go ahead and upgrade exactly what you would like to at this point just a note on the recall spell if you don't see yourself using it i don't really see a point in pushing upgrades on it however if you are curious as to using it or if you're trying new things then upgrading the recall spell might be a good move for you as well now this upgrade guys lets you dominate other town hall 15s especially early in the season however if you don't really know how to get to town hall 15 well this video doesn't really do too much for you that's why you need to watch this series right here which will allow you to go ahead and get to the max town hall level as fast as possible